All right, YouTubers. Um, <laughs> look what's working. Uh, did a lot of upgrades uh, on this little two-up. I'm doing my first print ever with it. Do a little cube, uh, 20 mil cube. I'll tell you, this thing's a little noisy, and it certainly does look a little wobbly. I'll take some dialing in for sure. Uh, I did have to reprint the extruder, like I said. Um, went on to uh, Thingiverse uh, and looked up some other extruders specifically for the 2-Up. And this one was available. And it's actually pretty nice. It does that allow for tension. It's pretty simplistic. And then uh, he did make a fan mount for it, which I installed. But as you can see, the fan isn't spinning. Uh, like I said earlier in a previous post, uh, I played with trying to load firmware on this thing and I couldn't do it. Uh, I thought I was able to load uh, G-code onto the memory card of the printer board, but a really good indicator that the uh, the firmware is outdated is that the fan doesn't work. Uh, I also got a read uh, in some reviews and things. There's a rumor that um, the direction of one of the motors was programmed in backwards, which would make sense because right now I do have my extruder uh, pins or wires um, reversed. I actually t pulled them out of the plug and reversed them so that it would spin in the right direction. Um, this, The printer board is different than the ramps loading and firmware and all that. Oops, excuse me. Let's see, load up some more filament. That'd be good. Ah! Not if it breaks, it's not. Well, this might be an interesting, uh, interesting print, considering I ran out of filament already. <laughs> All right, it took. Um, extruder is actually kind of nice. Um, I, what I did also, again, there was a lot of different upgrades as I've talked about. Uh, last time I was on uh, chatting with you guys, there was a um, a white. X uh, uh, extruder holder look like this. I opted to go with this. Well, I printed it in uh, ABS on my other uh, printer. There was the option to do what they call a lifted extruder. What that does is it gains you another half an inch of print area. Not that I'd want to be printing monstrous things on this particular printer. But by raising the extruder up, uh, it's still. Um, the actual hot in itself is still below the um, the gantry, but uh, it's a little bit more space optimized. So I decided to print that again. Um, don't look too close at that fan mount; it's it's hideous. I did have a bad bad print, but I wanted it anyway. Um, so it is working. It's a little noisy, a um, little wobbly. Probably better than it was, even though I never even tested it when I got it. I didn't even want to try. Um, it's not bad, uh, actually, it's, 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 for what it is, it, it, it certainly does work, um, we'll see what kind of quality print I get out of that, haven't even begun to calibrate the thing yet, so, this is just a first try, but you guys are seeing it firsthand. um, some little cube, um, sort of kind of surprised that it works, but at the same time, I guess, you know, this was a working kit when I got it, and then tore it apart and then rebuilt it. And if it didn't work at all, I'm not sure that the company could have sold it, even though, again, these things got bad reviews. But, you know, if you do your due diligence, there's probably ways to make this thing a lot better. Um, I did see that there was a three-pulley, um, well, up here and up here to uh, level the uh, X gantry better, since it's only supported by the uh, Acme screw on one side. I don't think I really care that much. Uh, I have counter leveled the bed to accommodate for the sag, um, so and that's what a lot of people will do, I'm sure, unless they do do that upgrade. But you know, not bad for you know futzing with it for a bit. Um, I do want to get that firmware upgraded. Uh, I do want the fan running. And cause right now, my hot end is probably hating me. But there you go. There you have it. Uh, an upgraded. Um, Two up.
and it's actually printing something that does resemble square, which is what it's supposed to, so we'll see. You can probably see on the camera there is a lot of wiggle and wobble on this thing. Some people have said uh, glue down your linear bearings underneath for your your um, Y axis. Maybe I'll do that. I don't like super glue on printers. I've said that before. Super gluing bearings that doesn't make a lot of sense to me either. You know, glue on on metal. Um, maybe some JB Weld, some epoxy. That would make a little more sense in my mind. Sure, wouldn't be getting those linear bearings off anytime soon if I did that though. So I like the idea of being able to swap out or change out things. So I'm a little torn right now. But I want to try to dial this in a little bit. Like I said, this is a little itty bitty desktop printer by comparison. It's probably only three quarters the size of my uh, uh, Perusi 3 from Folgitech. But there's certainly good reasons for that. You know, double motors on both sides and, and, and things, and a bigger build area. Um, but I, I'm looking with the upgrades I've done in the configuration that it is now. I'm looking at um, six and a quarter inches in the x axis, um, seven and a yeah, seven and a quarter in the y. So six and a quarter by seven and a quarter. Uh, surface area, and then um, with the upgrade for the raised extruder, sorry, I'll get out of the light, uh, I got five and a half inches vertically on, on the z-axis, so um, size-wise this thing is relatively capable. Um, again, I don't know that I would want to try it, but I could push the envelope perhaps. Uh, I'll also work out speeds and things like that, but just figured I'd let you guys see it in, in action. Um, with the upgrades I've done and working, I did have to use repeater hoist, or excuse me, repeater host, um, just so that I could keep things separate uh, from my other printer. I was really concerned because there are no end stops, so you manually set where your your zero 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 position is, which is you know down here, a little dot where the extruder started. Um, probably the same dot where I slammed the hot end into it last time because I was looking for. Um, end stops. You have to comment out the go or find home commands in Slicer. You have to comment those out so it doesn't want to go looking for home. Because since there's no limit switches, it's never going to find it. It's just going to slam in every direction, which is all sorts of bad. Um, so that was a learning curve. A lot, did a lot of research on that and go, oh, okay. Just disable them. Still don't like it, but you know you got to do what you got to do. I'll probably put them on at some point. The printer board is capable of it. If I struggle too much with that firmware, trying to upgrade it, uh, like I said in another post as well, I might just go for a whole ramps um, kit. I think they're going for around 50 bucks for the ramps. The Adrena Mega clone, three uh, end stops, mechanical end stops, and the LCD, which would certainly be uh, an upgrade or a boost in the arm for this thing. Oops, my light just went out. I can fix it. Anyway, so um, there you have it for now. Um, probably another video to come once I get this thing uh, more dialed in, but I wanted to see what it was capable of uh, just working as is. So, alright guys, have a good one.